Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I'm here with a new scrapbooking process video. Thanks so much for joining me here, and I hope you enjoy. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and I would love it if you would become a subscriber. You can also click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video up. All right, folks, let's get going. Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another layout I am making for the Scrapbooking Store's March 2020 kit. Uh, as usual, all the information for scrapbookingstore.com is in the description box below. They have a monthly kit available along with an embellishment upgrade as well as an entire online store. So if you have any interest in doing any shopping there, you can use my affiliate link if you'd like. It doesn't cost you any more money. It just gives me a bit of a commission and they do have a sale going on right now on some of their older kits. So this kit is made up of Authentiques Cottontail and Calendar, and I'm actually going to not do a Easter layout. Instead, I'm going to um, do a spring-themed layout instead. So I'm going to go ahead, get you guys put on fast forward before I do. I just want to say, if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and uh, let's get going. All right, so for today's layout, I have two five by seven photos, one of which I'm going to trim about an inch off, so it's more like a five by six, and then I have a four by six photo. Now these photos are of flowers, obviously, as you can see, that my housemate took a couple of years ago when she went to a wedding. Um, she walked around the garden area and just took some close-up photos of these flowers. And I've had them in my photo stash, you know, kind of just waiting for the right type of paper to use. And I thought this month's collection of um, authentic from scrapbooking store would work quite well so i pull out this woven basket piece of paper and that's from the cottontail line i really loved the boldness of that against the brighter springier colors of the photos as well as what i'm going to use as a border as you can see i'm trimming off a bit i'm going to end up trimming off a bit more but this is the sheet that the die cuts actually come in come like attached and you punch them out but the really cool thing is both sides have a pattern this side here you can see the xanthi just stole some paper um this side here that i'm checking out right now is a very pale gingham pink and cream and then the other side is that bolder hot pink and cream micro polka dot so the really cool thing is that the way the paper is set up you can use either of those sides to uh, as a border for a layout so you can see here i trimmed down more of that uh basket paper and all i'm going to do is run my atg kind of along where the thicker sections are where there are indentations trying to just get an overall coverage of atg and then i'm going to flip the paper over and add some washi tape to the back just to reinforce it just to you know make sure that that pink border paper does stay on and i love the way this looks if you watched my previous easter themed layout uh, you can definitely tell that i wanted to use this paper last time but i definitely needed to use um the purple plaid versus the pink plaid um and obviously with the pictures of the flowers i didn't want to use the plaid paper for this particular layout it would have ended up looking too busy just because of the subject now at the beginning i did go ahead and tear this piece now these have little stripes um of dots and i think the dots are supposed to be like jelly beans or easter eggs but as you can see with my photos i'm actually covering up quite a bit of this paper so it's really hard to read as anything other than wonky dots so and that's always something to think about if you have something just because it is um 
when you're looking at a 12 by 12 sheet of it, it definitely reads as something specific. When you're just using it as a little bit of something, it definitely does not read as that. So the amount that you're seeing, most definitely you cannot say, oh my gosh, are those jelly beans? No one's going to say that. So I am using this Easter themed um, line today for a spring themed, floral themed layout. Now, several of the die cuts and embellishment pieces will read towards spring, not necessarily Easter, but just a general spring. Um, as I said, the die cuts that you punch out of that pink dotted paper all of the B-sides of those have that pink dotted paper, and so they are great to be able to use them as a pattern shape rather than the other side, which has like pictures of bunnies and stuff like that. In fact, I use that um, notebook edged paper at the top. Now on the other side, that's actually a horizontal piece that has um, an Easter bunny or something along the lines on it, but I'm using it vertically with the um, notebook edge at the top. I also trimmed apart. There was a four piece kind of like floor to lee with a little central bunny part. I just trimmed off all four of the floor to lee pieces and that's what I'm going to use. And then I just won't use the little bunny in the center. So that way it is spring themed rather than Easter themed. So I do grab that die cut that says hello spring and that is perfect. I also grabbed uh, one of the stickers from the embellishment upgrade on um, the studio calico. Hey today. I can never remember the name of that collection. I apologize. Um, and I layered that over another one of the pink die cuts. And then from the Studio 112 puffy sticker set, I grabbed four of the little photo corners, but I use them as a layout corner. Two of them are orange and two of them are blue. So I just did opposite corners. And I think that looks really super cute. Also from the embellishment upgrade, once again, the sticker sheet, my title is Floral Beauty, and I love the way that cream color alpha looks against that dark brown basket tone. I'm also using the pink puffy um, kind of curly Q parenthesis type thing, and I had wanted to use those since I opened the kit and did my unboxing. I thought those were gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I was so super excited. Um, I'm like, I must use these. I must. Um, <laughs> so I was so happy that I did finally get to use them. Also from the embellishment upgrade, I am pulling out these heart wood veneer from the pink paisley. Um, oh sugar, what's it called? It's a multi different, there's different things. There's wood veneers, there were sequins, and then there are also epoxy heart stickers. I use both the epoxy heart stickers and the wood veneer hearts. And now rather than using enamel dots, I am using the gold sequins from the sequin mix that was also a part of that uh, multi embellishment pack from Pink Paisley. I am using my Marvy sequin pickup tool. This thing is a game changer if you like to use sequins but always hate having them get stuck to your hands. These, this works really great. And um, that tray is, uh, it's actually meant for beads. It's helped to keep, it's to help keep flat backed beads right side up, but it works really well at reducing static in uh, my sequins, so yay. Uh, one final thing I'm going to do, I grabbed from my stash this little um, cut apart label from Ellie Studio in green. I don't have a lot of green in my embellishments. I don't have any green in my embellishments, to be honest, but I do have a lot of green in my photos. So I wanted to pull that green out into my layout as well. And I'm just writing a little journaling about how nice it is to see all the flowers blooming in the spring. So it's not really great journaling, but I just wanted to write a little something. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you can flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. And don't forget to check out scrapbookingstore.com. All of the information is in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.